Hi, I'm Mahesh Balachandran, a program manager on the Bing API team. In this video, I'm going to talk about how Microsoft AI can work for your business with Bing Search APIs. I'm going to provide a quick introduction to the Microsoft Cognitive Services and Bing Search APIs. I'll spend a little more time talking about a new product, Bing Custom Search, that is now generally available for purchase. I'm super excited to show you a demo of how easy it is to create a site search experience using Bing Custom Search. I'll end this presentation with some useful links and resources for you to consume. Why choose Microsoft Cognitive Services? Because they work and it's easy. The APIs are easy to implement because of the simple REST calls. Being REST APIs, that is a common way to implement and you can get started with all of them for free by going to one place, one website, microsoft.com slash cognitive. We have got a breadth of intelligence and knowledge APIs, so developers will be able to find what intelligent feature they need, and importantly, they all work on whatever language, framework, or platform a developers choose. These APIs are built by experts in their own field, from Microsoft Research, Bing, and Azure Machine Learning teams. These capabilities are used across many first-party Microsoft products, such as Cortana, Bing, and Skype. Drilling in a little, we can see the diverse set of services that are available on Cognitive Services that are organized into vision, speech, language, knowledge, search, and lab categories. In this talk, we will focus specifically on some of the Bing APIs, which you see highlighted here. It used to be that building applications that had any intelligence required a lot of work. Now that the Bing APIs are a part of Microsoft Cognitive Services, you can connect to powerful AI-oriented capabilities by writing just a few lines of code. The Bing Search API adds intelligent search to your app, combing hundreds of billions of web pages, images, videos, and news to provide relevant results with no ad requirements. The Bing Image Search API gives you powerful image searching tools with a single call. You can tap into trending images of people, places, and things from around the world. The Bing Video Search API offers robust video searching features. The Bing News Search API can help turn your app into an up-to-date news center. Results from a single API call bring trending news from around the world, which is updated in near real time. The Bing Autosuggest API helps narrow the search quickly by allowing users to see suggestions for popular search terms. With Entity Search API, you can bring rich context about people, places and things, and local businesses to your apps through entity information for a more engaging user experience. We are very happy to announce that Bing Custom Search is now available to purchase. The Bing Custom Search allows you to build customized search engines for your business by providing site search and vertical search capabilities. Setting up of Bing Custom Search API is super easy and fast. The core technology works in three steps. It identifies on topic sites, it applies the Bing Ranker, and delivers relevant search results while allowing you to adjust the parameters at any time. There are two major methods to approach using custom search. One is a site search and the other is the vertical search. With site search, it lets your users search across all your websites. You can pin top results, you can also control the ranking, and you can make use of our hosted UI experience. And we are offering the hosted UI experience free of cost for you. With vertical search, you can design a custom search targeting hundreds of sites and web pages on a topic. You can deploy internally or externally, and you can also make use of our hosted UI experience. With that, I'm going to show you a quick demo of how custom search API works. I already logged in into customsearch.ai using my Microsoft account. It is important you log in so you can manage your own instances. We are now looking at the admin portal where you can create and manage your own custom search instance. Now I'm going to create a new search instance for a news company I'm uh, trying to set up. Let's call this instance as news search. I just created one instance but you also have a capability to create multiple instances. People can come to my site and find most up-to-date news and relevant news based on their search criteria. If you are creating a site search, then you will add your own domain and that's it. That's all it takes to create a custom search engine. I know in this example, we are doing a vertical search. So now I'm going to add msn.com. 
because I know that msn.com has all information I'm looking for from a new search. Now I want to test how my users will get the results. So for that, I'm going to enter a keyword called world news and hit enter. Now what the index has done in the background is it scoped the entire massive Bing index down to world news back from msn.com. As you can see the results here. Now I'm going to add few more sites. So rather than typing all in, I can use the bulk upload text file which has all the sites I pre-added. I'm going to click here to select the text file which has all the sites I uh, pre-added. I'm going to select URL here, hit OK. Now as you see since I used the bulk upload I can see all the sites that was part of my text file is already added to my custom search instance. You can see the power of this feature where you can use the bulk import for any quick events, any quick marketing events rather than you entering all the sites manually. You can also use the site suggestion feature. Uh, as you see at the bottom, it comes up with site suggestions which you can instantly add it by clicking this plus uh, symbol. So you can add uh, those sites to your custom search instance. Other features like pinning uh, can drive your users to a specific site rather than showing bunch of unnecessary results your users may not be interested in. To demonstrate how pinning works, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to switch to the pin tab. I'm going to paste the link I just copied and I'm going to call this as entertainment. I'm just pinning this specific keyword with the link I just copied. So now what's going to happen is if I type in entertainment and click enter, the backend is caught up and I will see the site I added with the query entertainment as the top site where using the uh, pin functionality. You can also use uh, the other functionality called blocking where you can block sites that you don't want to surface for your users. Say for example you have xyz.com and you don't want some unwanted news. You can always use the blocking functionality to block those sites which your users may not be interested to see. You can also rename your instance um, by going here or you can also use the cloning functionality. For example, if you have various sections within your website, rather than creating instances from the scratch, you can always clone the already created instance and edit the other instance uh, rather than you recreating another instance from scratch. Now, you may think, how I can use this? There are two ways you can use. One, you can use our custom search API endpoint by passing your subscription key and you can get back JSON. In order to show how this works, I need to copy the subscription keys. I'm going to enter the subscription key here and I'm going to use the query term entertainment and click test API. As you see on the right side, uh, you can see instantly the JSON response. Using this, you have the raw data you can take and make your own presentation layer. You can customize how you want to use. If you don't want to spend time to write a custom presentation layer, you can always use our hosted UI option. And we don't charge for you to use the hosted UI option. Using our hosted UI is very easy. We provide a different layouts. In, the, in, in this case, we provide three different layouts. You can choose any layout you wish. I'm going to pick the first layout. And I'm also going to pick a color theme. I'm going to pick a classic color theme. And I'm going to change the name I wanted to place in my search box. I'm going to say new search. I also have an option to determine how many results per page I want to use. I also can change the page title. I'm going to change my page title to new search. 
As soon as I make any changes on the left side, you can see instantly the changes are applied and shown on the right side here. I also have an option to select a logo URL. So I have my company's logo. In this case, I already have a logo URL. I'm going to simply paste it here. As you see, as soon as I pasted the logo URL, it instantly, instantly shows up on the right side. I can also select the toolbar theme between dark and light. Uh, I like the dark theme, so I'm going to select dark here. And before I hit changes, I need to use my subscription key. So I'm going to copy the subscription key that I used before. Paste it here. And now I'm saving the changes I did for my hosted UI. Now there are two ways you can access your customized UI. Uh, the first option is you can integrate the JavaScript snippet uh, from here into your application. It has the uh, custom config ID associated uh, with your custom search instance. Or the second option is to directly use the HTML link below. In either case, uh, you need to change the market or save search uh, parameters as needed. Now let me show you how your uh, hosted UI experience will look like. Here we go. We created a nice hosted UI for you, uh, for your uh, news company. And I'm going to test it out using the keyword I pinned in my custom search instance. As you see here, the results are quickly retrieved from the uh, custom search instance from the list of sites you added to your custom search instance. And when I use the keyword that I pinned, I see the top results is relevant to the keyword uh, I added to my custom search instance. I hope you enjoyed this short demo. As I showed you, it is super easy to create your own site search or vertical search experience using custom search API. It can be used by any industry or for any specific domain search Say it is a healthcare to an entertainment or to an education domain. A lot of customers are already using this and we are getting a lot of great feedback. In summary, you can create a search instance at customsearch.ai. You can add sites to whitelist. You can block pages as necessary. You can also editorially pin results for various queries uh, using our pinning functionality. You have an option to demote or boost a site and also you can adjust the ranking. You can customize a UX template for hosted search results. Bing securely stores each custom search definition in our backend data store. Please check out this link for useful resources and additional information. I hope you can make use of Bing APIs to bring the world's knowledge and intelligence to your apps. Thank you for your time and we look forward traveling together in this exciting journey of AI innovation with all of you.